Hi guys, it's Anthony Molinaro from O'Brien Real Estate with the 11th edition of the Eastern Weekly Property News for 2021, where the real estate information, as always, is on the house. Now, CoreLogic released its home price index on April the 1st, and across the country, well, we experienced our biggest monthly increase in prices in 32 years for the month of March. Metro Melbourne posted a solid 2.4% increase for March, which caps off five consecutive months of home price growth. In fact, the combined dwelling median price has risen $70,308 since the 31st of October, which is an increase of $3,248 a week. Now remember in the Melbourne Cup interest rate cut on November the 3rd last year being one of the main catalysts for the growth that we have had in the last five months. Regional Victoria again took the honours over Metropolitan Melbourne with 2.6% growth for the combined dwellings and since the 31st of October, its combined median price has risen $50,862. The recent price rises in real estate in Victoria has put some pressure on investment yields. Average rental yields for Metro Melbourne have fallen from 3.1% to 2.9% since the 31st of October and for regional Victoria yields have fallen from 4.5% to 4.1%. Medium rental prices for the year were also released by CoreLogic with houses across the year increasing a small 0.9%. However, units and rental prices are down 8.2%, mainly caused by no international students, no overseas travellers and little immigration. But the great news is we know that we can fix an investor loan for as low as 2.29% with the NAB for two years. Total returns for real estate over the last 12 months for regional Victoria has been 15.3% when you add the rental yield and the home price growth, which is a tremendous return that any investment manager would be happy with. Metropolitan Melbourne is a stark difference as we have just started to turn the corner now, being up 0.7% over the course of the last 12 months, bringing total investor returns to 3.6%. Now looking at the, our major capital cities, it's worth noting the latter positions have changed somewhat with Hobart now overtaking Brisbane in the home price median stakes Hobart is now sitting the fourth most expensive capital city in Australia behind Sydney, Melbourne and Canberra. Let's take a quick look at the numbers across the last month, specifically for O'Brien Real Estate Network. We saw 424 sales transact with the highest sale price being $4.35 million. Our days on market sitting at just 20 and the average sale price being 934,000. Looking at the property management for the month, we leased 217 properties. Our average letting is $535 a week rent and our vacancy rate is sitting at a very healthy 1.5%. The Australian Bureau of Statistics released home lending data on April and the value of new loan commitments to specifically property investors rose by 4.5% in February to a three year high, while lending to owner occupiers fell by 1.8%. Renovation loans rose by 8.3% to an 11 year high of $322.4 million. Sale property of the week this week is Townhouse 5 of 60 to 62 South Parade in Blackburn. Offering the perfect lifestyle with low maintenance, a location that is second to none, and a property that has been renovated from top to toe, there does not get much better opportunity than this one. Located within a short stroll to Blackburn train station and the Blackburn Village Precinct, zoned to Blackburn Primary and Box Hill High School, Moments to the Eastern Freeway, Forest Hill Chase and Blackburn North Shopping Centre, as well as the beautiful numerous parklands and reserves that surround this outstanding location make this one second to none. Tucked away at the rear of the complex, it ensures peace and quiet, as well as privacy and security all in one place. Ideal for the downsizer, first home by our young family, this property ticks all the right boxes when it's an inspection a must. With minimal stock on the market and scheduled to go to auction on the 8th of May at 11.30 a.m., priced between $880,000 to $960,000, we can't wait to see how this campaign goes. And lastly, our office is on the lookout for a senior property manager and assistant property manager. If that is you, or you know of someone that will be suitable for either of these roles, please feel free to get in touch with our office as we would love to hear from you or them in due course. Now that's all for this week. I'm Anthony Molinaro, and remember, the information provided is of a general nature. You should always seek independent, legal, financial, taxation, or other advice in relation to your unique circumstances. Thank you for taking the time to watch this week's Market Wrap, and until next week, it's bye for now.